Pingereko ni kwamba katibu katika idara ya vijana Rio Cheng ameimiza vijana kujisajili kwa shughuli za upigaji kura ili wateua viongozi watakao badilisha maisha yao. Cheng amesema kwamba vijana huenda wakajumuisha tano ya wapiga kura katika uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 baada ya shughuli za usajili za IBC kukamilika. milioni sita kama wapigaji kura kwa mara ya kwanza vijana wameimizwa kuchukua fursa hiyo kama nafasi ya kugeuza siasa za umu nchini akizungumza na wanahabari katika mkutano ulioandaliwa kuzuia msambao wa itikadi kali baina ya vijana katibu kutoka idara ya masuala ya vijana iliyo katika wizara ya habari mawasiliano na teknolojia Raymond Ching alisema kwa vijana wako na uwezo mkubwa wa kugeuza siasa za nchi hii so i believe i also want to urge young people out there that uh, and this also was a key outcome in today's meeting can we task our leaders whom we are going to elect based on how they are going to address our needs not based on how they are inciting us not based on how they are poking holes on what government is doing i believe that is not going to be unnecessary opportunities are with the young people can we then uh, elect young people aidha afisa huyo wa serikali alisema kuwa kando na kuchagua viongozi vijana pia yafaa wachukue fursa ya kugombea nyadhifa za uongozi it's not only electing people can also young people stand for elective positions and 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 divide the only thing that we I urge lightly do not divide the vote so if you feel uh, lady x or gentleman y is the best then let's put our hands together because these are people that we can always come kwa mta kwa base tuambie hey boss uh, tulikupeleka hapa uh, tumejua maybe either umeomoka but aufanyi vitu vizuri uh, on on why we brought you there Naye akizungumza katika mkutano huo huo kuhusu uzuiaji wa itikadi kali, Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa Shirika Lisilo la Kiserikali la County Governance Watch, Kevin Osido, aliongeza kuwa ni jukumu la vijana kubadilisha siasa za nchi hii ili ziwe za kuzingatia masuala yanayowakumba wananchi kando na ilivyo sasa. This conversation is very important because uh, on uh, August 9th 2022 we are going to have our general elections and if we do not safeguard the interests of the youth today and the, especially given the kind of narratives that we have seen where conversations are bordering not on very uh, strong ideological uh, perspectives not on very strong socioeconomic opportunities for the youth people are talking about ideas around objects such as wheelbarrows people are talking about ideas uh, and, and uh, you know personalities such as uh, who has been there much more younger who is not youth and who is uh, much older who is not youth the youth are saying that it is high time we moved from that kind of a conversation and that is really why for us and to us it is important IBC imepania kuanza shughuli za kuwasajili wapigaji kura wapya mnamo mwezi ujao. Tume hiyo inawalenga vijana waliohitimu umri wa upigaji kura wa miaka 18 baada ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2017 na wale ambao hawakujiandikisha kupiga kura kabla ya uchaguzi huo. Tume hiyo pia inatarajiwa kuajiri kampuni maarufu ya ukaguzi kukagua uhalali wa orodha ya wapigaji kura. Calvin Kodalo, Lookup TV, Nairobi.